This is how we're going to access the system. We're going to go ahead and, and screw this here blue hose onto the access valve. All right. Got the vacuum pump going. <coughs> it's pulling down a vacuum. It's pulling. It's evacuating the air out of this system. When it gets down to pulling to about negative 30, so far it's at negative 20. When it gets down to negative 30, then I'm going to shut off valves, cut off the vacuum pump. Open it up and let it get up to about 10, but don't let it get above 10. And all right, now close it back. Close it back. If my, I'm leaving my can upwards too. I, don't never, you don't flick it upside down. You you want vapor in there. You don't want liquid. I feel the can getting cold. You see it frosting up? It's getting cool in it. There's some gas going in, Paul Paul. Turn it all wide open. Turn it wide open. But see, I, what, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm turning this little release valve right here. Because I don't want to add this in too fast. That is the key. You don't want that to go in there. What you do, if you choke it down, it's just as bad as if it ain't got any in it. I'm feeling the can. I can feel the can. It's cold to the touch. That means there's gas flowing out of it. So it's the compressor's pulling. When I and when I shut this valve off, see it's pulling it down into into the red zone. We want it out of the red. We want it to get it to zero, between zero and five. When we get through with this, we don't want to exceed five pounds. While we're charging it, we don't want it to go above ten for fear that we'll flood or wreak havoc on the little reed valves that are in there. So we don't want to. We don't want to force it in too fast. We don't want liquid going in, but we want to. Let it go in nice and easy. And slow. Nice and slow. Going in because the can's getting frosty on my hand. It's getting cold. If it'll sit at five and stay, then you're done. All right, there it is. All we got to do now is shut off this here. That off. That's already off. 